here, let's build a bench today. I love that this bench can be used indoors or outdoors and it is so easy to build. Hang out till the end and I will show you how to modify this to make an upholstered version of this bench as well. As always, you can find the detailed measurements and cut lists in the plans on my blog by following the link above or in the description. Now let's get building. So the first step is to cut up all the boards to length. The plan calls for a few angled cuts, so I set up my miter saw for it. Now the plan calls for two types of angled cuts. The first is the long to short end. That is the short end and that is the long end. So for the long to short end cut, you measure from the long end and you need to cut in this direction. Similarly for the long to long end cut, we start at the long end and measure out the dimensions. Now for the long to long end cut, it needs to be in this direction. This will give us the long to long end. Now once all the boards are cut, I went ahead and made pocket holes using my crack jig. Alright guys, so we have cut up all the pieces, um, I've sanded them, I've made the pocket holes. So now it is time for us to put it all together. So let's do that. So the first thing that you want to do is actually do a rough fit to make sure you have everything fitting well. These right here are 30 degree angles um, that have been cut and then I made the pocket holes on um, each side here. It kind of gets a bit confusing because you know it's a thick wood and you do an inch and a half um, setting on your crank jig. Um, but these are the holes going downwards and these are the holes going this way. So they kind of mix in together. This is the longer piece so you can see it better, the pocket holes. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is a very rough fit. So this is our bottom piece. We put in our long piece, then our short piece, and then our other short piece, right there. So you can see that it is good fit it fits pretty well and before you go ahead and attach it now the other thing you got to do is you see right here you have to measure the distance between you know from the edges so, you, so it's centered well so that's the one thing you got to do and I have actually already marked on here so I'm going to um, go ahead and assemble it so before I actually assemble the bottoms, I like assembling the eggs because you know that keeps everything together in one spot. So um, I'm gonna make sure that's where it's going to be and I'm gonna make sure this is aligned because I have the, the marks right there and there you go. So then what I normally do right here so I know exactly where these um, short pieces meet the long pieces now let's I mean now we just use wood glue if I can get that out and put it together so it's it's basically just that simple um, and I'm using um, a two and a half inch pocket hole screw. This is the blue coated one because this is going to be an outdoor bench. You want a blue coated nail for the outdoor bench.
going to um, attach this on right here. I don't know if you can see the marks there right here. So everything's aligned and centered well. And the pocket holes are on the side, so I'm going to put them like this. Now it's time to work on the slats. We need to space them out and I used a scrap piece of 1x4 to create uniform spacing between the slats. Then I used a speed square to make sure that they were aligned on either sides. Finally, I measured out the distance from the ends to attach the legs. Now when you place the legs on the slats to attach, you want to make sure that your pocket holes are facing inside. And then I used wood glue and two inch wood screws to attach them to the slats. That's it! There is the X-Leg Bench. It works so well outdoors or indoors. Now for the upholstered version. Instead of the slats, I added 2x4 boards between the X legs to create the frame. Then I upholstered a piece of plywood before attaching it directly to the frame using 2 inch wood screws. The upholstered version makes a great indoor bench that can be used in so many settings. Be sure to grab the plans for this bench by clicking the link above. And tag me on Instagram at Anika's DIY Life if you happen to build this bench. I would love to see. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future projects.